In uh, this video, I will be giving an overview of some of the concepts and calculations that are related to distance and uh, to density. So um, basically, what we um, have is um, we have the simple feature to feature calculation, the, the everyday concept of distance so the distance from an address to the station or as on this map here the distance from a town to the nearest lake um it's often you know so this the tools generally generate the distance as the crow flies but often you are more interested in looking at distance in a network or distance through some form of cost or time aspect rather than distance in kilometers. So all of these extra types of distance will also be covered. Um, we'll also talk about finding the nearest. So what is the nearest station? In this case it is what is the nearest capital for any of those non-capital towns in Europe. Um, so um, basically this thing about finding the nearest Strange thing is that finding the nearest is not necessarily the same as finding a distance. They, you can find the nearest by doing it by find distances to them, but often you will find that find nearest is one calculation and find the distance is another because the finding the nearest is related to the concept of districting or service areas. So. These are where we say, okay, what finding around a hospital or a station, which area is nearest to that? And basically what we often do is that if you want to find the nearest station for a address or hospital, it's quicker to do first a districting and then intersect our districting with the addresses than it is to do the distance calculation and do it that way around. So it's um it's not necessarily the same. It, you can get to the same result in different ways. Um but basically they are different approaches. So and again here for um districting is again a question is it the districting in meters so where it's closest to or is it in travel time. In um, this example here, I have um, done a districting in meters around um, the capitals in Europe, but I then also these networks is the travel time network of one hour by train. So, two different approaches to working with districting. Um, density is well. Basically, it's how close things are, and therefore a type of distance. Um, density is a really dangerous tool to use um, because there are lots of specialities you have to. It's based on a, a distance. So you say if you want to do a calculation of density of greengrocers, you kind of say this is the density of greengrocers. You have to say this is the density of greengrocers within a specific search radius. Density of green grows within two kilometers, search radius, or one kilometer, or 50 meters. And what that search radius is, that's a very um, subjective decision. So, how, how far away are you interested in knowing that there are green grocers? So, there's a lot of things going on in the density tool that you should be aware of when using it. Here, I've shown it a um, basically, this one is. Um, how many capitals there are within the two hundred kilometers uh, radius? So there are places in Europe where there are six capitals within the two hundred kilometer radius. And here I've been doing some density calculation of population or number of of towns or whatever. So, but here I'm using it as a grid, counting within the grids, which is some way a nice alternative to doing the calculations on um, 
are, 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 are the, the density count per operation. The final group of um, operation distance at network cost distance. So again, the travel network of the railroads or a cost distance of, um, in this case, I'm finding the shortest route by car or train or walking, or swimming from Stockholm to Prague. So different ways of calculating travel through network, through grid sales and different approaches to this. So basically, um, this is at the same time a introduction to a series of videos. So um, that will be, I don't know, 11 videos, something like it, um, covering these topics, the individual tools, the process of going from um, a data set from the natural earth to doing a, what is the shortest route from Stockholm to Prague. So I hope that um, you are ready for this uh, long series of interesting videos on concept of um, of distance and density and i hope to see you in all of the videos